In my last video, I showed you how to create this corset with key yoke. If you want to watch that video, I'll link it right here and also below this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert this your paper pattern to a digital pattern. And we're going to be using a completely free CAD online pattern making software. First of all, you draw a square as like this, two inches by two inches on each of the patterns, each of it. Then snap the patterns individually, as you're seeing it individually, just snap them individually as they are. And then we're going to download them. And then we're going to upload them onto Canva. So ensure that you create this square on each of your patterns, two inches by two inches by two inches by two inches on each of the patterns. That is stage one. And then we are now going to download this, snap these patterns as they are and upload them onto Canva. So let's go to stage two. We get to Canva. For those of you that are coming to my channel for the very first time, I would like to introduce you to Pattern Maker Pro because that is exactly what we are going to be using to convert our paper patterns to digital patterns. But it is good for you to actually know how Pattern Maker Pro works. Pattern Maker Pro is an online free CAD pattern drafting system and it is completely free so before you we continue with this video it is best you can go to my channel this is my youtube channel i have a lot of videos where i introduce you to pattern maker pro and i show you how to actually use it to create your digital patterns from scratch your digital patterns from scratch it's good you go to the videos go to my channel Watch those videos so that you can have an idea of how this Pattern Maker Pro CAD pattern drafting software actually works. So after you've done that, you can now come and continue with this video. So I just wanted to let you know that what we are going to be using, you need to at least have an idea of how to use it by watching any of my videos. So let's continue with the video. So once I have downloaded the snapped patterns, these are my patterns, I uploaded them on Canva. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I can remove the background. You can use any other software that you know of to remove the background. This is what the picture looks like, where I snapped it. These are the different uh, pattern pieces that are uploaded on Canva. I cannot upload them like this to Pattern Maker Pro. I need to remove their background. And that's exactly what I have done. I've removed the background. And once I remove the background, I will now download it onto my computer. And once I've downloaded it onto my computer, right here yeah. once i've downloaded it onto my computer i am now going to upload it separately onto pattern maker pro so the next stage now is for us to go to pattern maker pro and upload the patterns onto pattern maker pro individually so as i said these are the patterns and i'm going to upload it individually onto pattern maker pro you cannot use this feature with Canva if you do not have a pro account. That is why I said, if you do not wish to have a pro account with Canva, you can always use any other software that you know of that you can remove background. Just remove the background so it shows only the pattern itself. Okay. 
Now, there's something I did not mention. When you're downloading your um, patterns, like when you go here to download your patterns on Canva, please remember to tick this transparent background because if you forget to tick this, it's going to download it without this um, transparent background. So once you've ticked that, just click on download. So it's going to download it on my desktop. That is it on my desktop. So the next thing we are going to do now, we'll now go to Pattern Maker Pro. This is my account on Pattern Maker Pro. And I'm going to open up a new... Um, I want to open up a fresh fashioner. So let me just go to account. And I need to go to uh, fashioner. So this fashioner, I'm going to go patterns from the catalog. Then I'm going to scroll down because I need an empty canvas that we can use to carry out this is an empty canvas and then we are going to click on it then i'm going to click on add to basket and i'm going to be using my measurement sets if you don't know how to create a measurement set i have a video that i'm going to link below this video to show you how to create a measurement set so i'm going to use this measurement sets of mine to do what i want to do then i'm going to go to fashioner this takes a little time for it to create our empty canvas that we are going to use to transform our manual pattern to digital patterns so that is ready then you click on continue to fashioner so this is the empty canvas I'm going to be using to create this uh, manual patterns to digital patterns. If this is your first time on Pattern Maker Pro, I have videos that I will link below this video for you to go ahead and actually find out what Pattern Maker Pro is, how to use it, how to create your very own patterns from scratch or how to create patterns from the patterns that are already in Pattern Maker Pro. For this video, I'm going to actually show you how to convert your manual patterns to digital patterns. So now that we are in this canvas, I'm now going to go to image and I'm going to import those images. So select continue, then I'm going to select continue and I'm going to import the images onto this canvas. So I'm going to actually show you how to upload because you can't upload all the pattern pieces in one time. So if you want to upload, you just go here, go to import images, go to continue. And then I'm going to, I've done two. So let me do a third one, this one, open it. So that's it there then you save it and then to move it to where you want it just go to image again go to drag image now look for the images what i've actually done is that i've written down the particular numbers for each of my image like this one now is for this one this one is for this one so this third one now that i just added it's for this one so i advise you either you snap it or you write it down so you know the one that you want to move so i need to select this one and then I have to move it. So I want it to be around here. And then I will save it. So I'll just do the same, you know, bring in the other remaining two, uh, remaining two pattern pieces. Just with the same method that I did. That's the this one here. And then I'll drag it here. It's like I need to shift this one a little bit to the back. I'll just drag this one. Mm -hmm. Just shift it a little bit so I have space. Shift it a little bit. 
save and shift the second one to a little bit bring it down a little bit so just essentially the way to do it let me bring in the last one then i'll just arrange them very well So let me just um, arrange this one. This is the side. This is the center. I think this one is supposed to be around here. Mm. Let me shift the second one, this one. Here. And then the last one is this one i bring it here okay save the first image um i think i want to shift everything let me just adjust everything the way i want and then i'll pause the video and then we'll continue from there i have arranged the patterns very well now the next thing we need to do now is to do what i called scaling of the image so to do that just click here image go to scale image to tell you to choose one so you're going to be scaling it one by one so let's start with the first one draw scaling box by placing four points at corners so this is our scaling box so i will do that next Click to place the top right. That is the top right. Next. Click to place the bottom right here. So this is just the process of transforming this, your manual patterns to scale it down so that whenever you finish with it, I want to um, download it. It will be exactly the size of the pattern that you uploaded. So we are finished with that. So we are going to put the width and the height. Remember our width and height is what? Two inches. If you remember when we were measuring it, we measured it at two inches. And then we click on next. And then it tells you the scale, the height scale, the width scale. You can decide to change it, but I won't change it. It has, it has calculated it the way it is. So I'll just click on next. So I will now save it. So this pattern here has been scaled to your size as you had uploaded it digitally. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to have to scale all of them. And then we'll come back and go to the next stage. So I have scaled the image, as you can see now, this is the digital sizes of those images. I've done for the five images. So the next thing now is for us to trace the image. You know, if you want to store it, it will be advisable to store it as it is. It's good to convert it to look exactly like digital, actual digital patterns. So to do that, you just go to trace image as I've done, but we need to create a layer. For us to trace our image if we don't create a layer you will not be able to do anything on it so you create it creates a layer for you so now you can work on this so the first thing we're going to do let me just trace this one and show you how to do it and then you can do the rest just go to points add add three points so i'll just select here save so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to add points in everywhere then I'll go ahead and do the tracing as I want. So if you just follow me and do that, it's quite easy. So we'll add points in all the areas that we want to, want to be here. Save. So we are done with that. So we are going to add a straight line, go to lines. So it's just as simple as that. We are going to add a straight line there. Continue, save. 
then go to uh, line again outline I have a straight line here save and then we are going to add curves add curve from here to here continue curve points if you've not been watching my videos on how to um, work with pattern maker pro i'd advise you to do that i have links to a lot of videos here so just draw the curve to meet your curve remember we are tracing our pattern exactly the way it is draw your curves once you click on the green thing you can just shift your cursor and it lays down very well and that is too much inside so so we've gotten our curve then we'll save it so we need a second curve again add curve from here to here continue so you're beginning to see that it's not difficult at all it's much easier than actually uh, doing this from scratch that's what I think because if you watch my other videos on actually creating patterns from scratch here you see that it's not as um, easy as what I'm doing so the next one the last curve add curve so we'll do from here to let me to here continue curve point uh three so just draw that down here see how easy it is to trace your manual pattern That is how easy it is to so come up a little. Okay, then save. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to convert all the curves to lines. And to do that, we just go to curves, curve to line. And then we just highlight, select the curves. Once it turns yellow like that, you just select it, continue, keep curve continue so that has been converted to line once you do not see this green dot you know that it has been converted to a line so we save it we do the other curve curve to line sometimes it's uh -huh, okay continue keep curve continue that is done we save it the last one of two line uh, continue keep curve continue save so we finish with that pattern so what i want to do now i'll shift the our download so that you see the pattern as it looks so we go to image go to drag image the first image so i will just drag it out so that is your pattern save that is your pattern it's as simple as that so we'll go ahead and do that for the remaining four so that we have our four different patterns so um i finished tracing all the patterns as you can see i've finished tracing it let me lift it move it up these are all my patterns. I've labeled it. If you don't know how to write um, inside your patterns, you just go to utilities, go to um, either add text between points or add text at points. Let me choose add text at point. And then I'll just put a point here. Put the point where you want to add the text. Continue. Then add the text that you want to add. Like I want to add quotes uh, to enter. And there you have it. And then you save it. So that's it. So what we need to do now is to remove all these other ones. And to do that, you go to layers. Select active layer. Come down. 
no let me see cancel sorry go to layers go to layer visibility sorry and then you come here and set I light all this as you highlight it each of the image will go off as you see it has gone off I light it again go off go off go off go off and then we save it and then we can now save this you can now save this if you want to save it just go here to file we'll save it then we'll give it a name and this is my um uh, what will I call it uh, the corset I'll call it corset, corset pattern for bust 38 and then I'll save it. So if I go to my account, I'll see it saved in my account. Now, I would love to add sewing allowance to this. And if you want to add sewing allowance, you just go to utilities, add seam allowance, and then select lines and curves, create a close shape. So you just select the lines of the ones that you want to add your seam allowance. Sometimes you need to really bring it out for you to be able to select it, select that, select, select that. Select this. Now this is proving difficult to select. Ah. So once you've selected it, you now do continue and there is your seam allowance. So you can do that for all of it you create your seam allowance and then your pattern is ready for you to download it's as simple as that very simple so with this i've come to the end of this video on how you can convert your manual patterns to digital patterns it's very simple it's simpler than even creating the patterns from scratch. So it depends on you. Either one works. If you're used to creating manual patterns and you don't want the hassle of starting to create digital patterns from scratch, you can also use this method to convert your manual patterns to digital patterns. And it's easier for you to actually work with this. You can work with this. You can create different kinds of styles from this. For instance, you can create your basic body block manually snap it upload it and then from that basic body block you can create other styles it's as simple as that thank you so much for watching to the end i hope you have enjoyed it and i hope you try to convert your manual patterns to digital patterns till then see you in my next video